We're back. It is 837 with the breakout star of the Winter Olympics. Her name is Eileen Gu. The teen phenom racked up several gold medals on the slopes. She's been juggling her newfound fame with competitions, college on the horizon, and a stunning appearance at this week's fashion's biggest night. Take a look. Eileen Gu. This is what February looked like for 18-year-old freestyle skier Eileen Gu. Golden. Oh my God, I'm not crying. Definitely not crying. The American born teen who grew up in California won not one, not two, but three Olympic medals for Team China, honoring her mother's home country on the international stage. The golds in big air and half pipe make Eileen the youngest freestyle skiing champion in Olympic history and the first freestyle skier to win three medals at a single Winter Olympics. She used her podium finishes as a platform to cheer on the next generation of young women in her sport. It's always been about encouraging girls. It's always been about showing people what's possible. A mission Eileen has been on since she was in seventh grade. I encourage you all to step out of your comfort zone to show the boys that girls are just as powerful as they are. Since Beijing, Eileen's gone from smashing records in historic fashion to becoming a fashion icon, making a name for herself as one of the faces of luxury brands Louis Vuitton and Tiffany's, rocking both on the red carpet at fashion's famous first Monday in May, the Met Gala. Eileen, it's so good to have you in studio. By the way, you really are the whole package. I mean, Savannah and I were just talking about you. You, um, first of all, an Olympic gold medalist. You're, you, you're everything in fashion. What did you get on your SATs? I got a 1580 on my SAT. Okay, did you study? All, do you study all the time? Are you a hard worker, or do things just come easy for you? I did take every single available <laughs> online test for the SAT, so I'm not gonna sit back and be like, oh, it was easy. But um, yeah, it was. It was just standardized tests, and you can study for them. Well, hard work seems to be your theme. Uh, when you got those medals in Beijing, was it was it a pinch me moment, or was it like lots and lots of practice that happened to work out perfectly on that day? I think it was both. The mm -hmm. really standout moment for me was when I landed that 1620 in Big mm -hmm. Air, which was my first event. And I've always said, you know, my message is about inspiring young girls and um, inspiring more people to hear about the sport and to use it as a force to create interconnection and cross-cultural communication mm -hmm. and I knew that it was such a big moment and there were so many people watching mm -hmm. and it was my time to live up to that standard that I've set and so in that sense I was like no matter what there is no failure because if I don't land the worst failure is to not try so I just wanted to try it and I'd never done it before I'd never even tried it on airbag or anything and wow. um, landed it got that gold medal and I was on top of the world well your mom taught you well you can tell that she's always supporting you she's actually here in studio and you did make a decision uh, to compete for China and I was just wondering the thought process because I know that wasn't an easy decision I know it came with backlash so tell me about that piece yeah so for me it's always been about using force uh, using sport as a force of communication mm -hmm. and especially in a sport like free skiing it's so free it's so personal you use it and it's creative there's style and a lot of people in China had never even heard of it and so kind of introducing that sport culture to younger girls especially is it changed my life you mm -hmm. know and so to be able to have that kind of contact with the sport and now there are 300 million people in China who've gone on snow after the Winter Olympics and that impact is absolutely insane. Did you feel like you needed to have a thick skin for for what came at you after that? Absolutely I mean people always have their own opinions but for me what I try to stick to is I know that there, there's no wrong or right. There's only intention. And I'm trying to make the world a better place in my own way. Mm -hmm. And if people disagree with that, that's okay. And I just encourage them to make the world better in their way, right? Mm -hmm. We can approach this situation from different standpoints. So, yeah, teach their own. So you're going to Stanford. Is that next on your list? I'm going to college in the fall, yes. Oh, my God. So you're going to college in the fall. You're a, you're a, you're a model. You do all that stuff. Are we going to see you at the Olympics again? Is that going to happen, do you think? Who knows? I mean, honestly, I really love skiing still. It is a 
very personal and expressive part of me, and I think it makes me who I am. It's taught me resilience. It's taught me that um, cross-cultural communication. And so in that sense, yeah, I think why not? But, yeah, let's see how school goes first. You are a lovely and delightful person. And, again, your mom's here cheering you on. No one's beaming bigger than she is. I don't know if we did get a shot of her because we, we did. Oh, good. I just, want, I just want to make sure that she gets her air time, too. I know she doesn't love to be on camera, but we had to show her. Eileen, thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming to see us. Congrats on all of your success. Thank you so much, Hoda. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.